Hey, I'm Eve, the Creative Curator. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I have converted these shoes into... So I looked online everywhere to see if I could find a tutorial on how to do it. I didn't want to trash these brogues, sort of brogues. I bought these when I first got to the Netherlands back in 2019. Um, and I love them because of the color and I actually managed to find them in my shoe size. I'm a 43, a Europe, European 43, which is about nine and a half UK. Um, and I love them and I'd worn them a couple of times and every time I wore them, they scraped the back of my ankle. And last weekend I wore them and I'm not gonna show you because it's quite graphic, but basically the back of the heel had caused so much damage to the back of my ankle that I haven't been able to wear shoes all week. Um, which has been problematic, as I'm sure you can imagine. So I'm going to show you how to, how I have taken these to create a completely new pair of shoes that aren't going to trash my ankles. Okay, so um, this is completely, I'm totally winging this. I tried to look online to see if I could find a tutorial. There was nothing. Um, I hope the light is okay. It's disappearing. You might hear some dutch outside because my neighbours have decided to have a conversation. Um, so basically, I need to remove a section of the shoe so that I can then um, make holes and maybe lace it, I guess. Um, I haven't thought that far ahead. So I'm going to use my, I've got um, a surgical scalpel. I'm not going to explain how I got my hands on one of these. And I'm going to start, there are quite some, um, some quite interesting style lines. Let me turn it around. I've got my shoe on a piece of paper because I, I'm um, one of those people that's uh, particular. I don't want the shoes on the table, but also it's bad luck. I don't know if this is a worldwide thing or just a UK thing, but putting shoes on your table is actually um, supposed to be bad luck. <laughs> so I don't want bad luck. Um, so I figure if I put a piece of paper on it, technically it's on the paper and not my table. So I'm going to take my scalpel. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about doing this, but I'm just going to go for it. I've got natural um, style lines. So I was thinking I could either hole punch through these. Um, so I'm going to start by following this line with a scalpel. I don't know if it will work because it's really, really thick. As you can see, like I'm not able to really dent it. Um, so it may not work and I may actually have to follow the style line this side or even follow this one here. Um, so I'm going to try and see how I get on. Um, so I took my scalpel, it's a surgical scalpel, and at some point I might divulge how I got my hands on one. I've got so many blades as well to go with it. Um, and you can see I'm using it very carefully because it's seriously sharp to just try and cut through the thick leather, leather <laughs> even. Um, that's at the back of my ankle. Um, you can see from the some of the dry blood, I had to, tried to clean it as best as possible, but unfortunately, um, it, there was a lot of blood. Um, so I'm just trying to cut through the thickness of the leather, which is what has caused so much damage to the back of my ankle. Um, it's hard work. I, it's quite possible that if you have a pair of brogues that you're deciding to cut into mules as well, you'll struggle in the same way. The good news is, is I didn't end up sticking with this version. I actually, I started this process um, on one of the shoes and I'm showing it to you here now just so you can see it, but it's only a few minutes um, long. And then I very quickly realized that actually this isn't going to look so great. <laughs> um, and so I moved on to version two, which thankfully meant that actually um, I didn't need to cut through the thickness of the leather so much. Okay, now, see that's really nicely shaped actually. Now we wanna get, <laughs> basically we wanna detach this. And using the scalpel, even though this is a really sharp blade, um, although I guess by this point it has blunted quite a bit, um, but even though I'm using the sharp blade, it was still quite a battle to try and cut the bottom of the main shoe fabric or leather, sorry, away from the actual shoe itself. Um, yeah, quite hard. Maybe I should just cut on the inside instead. 
part of me thought maybe I should just cut it along here. But anyway, <laughs> continuing on, um, eventually, without cutting myself at all, which I'm rather proud of, I did manage to remove the section that was to the bottom of that um, style line. And I really wanted to try and keep that style line with the stitching and the little hot cutouts because I just thought it was like, it's so essentially brogue in style. Um, but as you'll see, it didn't work out. Okay, this is getting trickier, so I've had to change position. Um, just bring my camera this way a little bit. Um, I need a better angle, basically. And I could probably have used a new blade at this point. You can see that I'm actually struggling to cut through the leather at this point. I'm having to hold the shoe with my left hand quite tight um, in order to be able to cut through with the blade. It was um, quite a, a little bit trying, um, but thankfully I was able to get there and then start cutting away at the bottom. Okay, ta-da! We have a section completed. Oh, that was hard work. Um, really hard work actually so then the next step for now is to hole punch through the existing holes so i've got this great draper expert hole punch i'm going to do it a little bit bigger than that so that was a 2.5 so i'm getting my microphone Not with that. i'm going to go with a 3.5 and see whether I can oh yeah baby <gasps> oh look at that so on the top ones to have a 3.5 that one's too high up let's do it about there so I have had these hole punchers, they're leather hole punchers. I've had them for a couple of years and I used to use them for my fashion brand um, back when I used to make small leather goods as well. Um, they've lasted, I think I bought them in like 2012 or 2013. They're still strong. You can see that I am having to wiggle it a little bit, but I think that's because the leather on the back ankle section of these brogues was just really thick. Um, it was made up of multiple um, layers I guess because you need to be able to support the ankle um, and actually what I found is that I had started off with quite a large size um, and I needed to make it smaller the whole smaller as I was going along originally I intended that I would lace them with the laces that you can see are currently still at the front <laughs> um, but I actually ended up lacing them with actual ribbon afterwards which is interesting Okay, so then the last step is I need to, because as you can see it starts quite narrow and then it gets quite thick, so I'm going to see if I can find something that I can trim that away with. If anyone else out there is like super superstitious about putting shoes on your table, let me know in the comments. I don't know whether it's just an English thing, um, but yeah, I am weird about putting things on the table. So as you can see, I'm using these like really old scissors from Wales to cut and smooth the edges. Um, and then I took the laces that had been the original laces and I started to use them on the back ankle section. At this point, I realized that this probably wasn't going to work um, because the with the lace being so thick, I figured it's just still going to rub on my ankle. And actually, I can see from the right hand side of the back ankle that... Um, it's still got the sharp section poking out that's going to basically still rub my ankle. So it was at this point that I was like, mm, I don't think they're going to work. Then. And if it works, if it's comfortable, then I will... Um, 
tie this in a knot and clean up the blood somehow. So let's go try it out. I then realized that I would try the ribbon and I love the color of the ribbon. I think it looked really lovely, but again, didn't work. My other half laughed at me when he saw me trying them on. Um, and they rubbed at the back of my ankle. So I ended up grabbing my small scissors and you can see that I'm cutting through the leather um, that starts next to the tongue of the brogues. And this is what I should have done from the very beginning. I'm referring to this as version two. Um, and it's literally a case of cutting away. I have sped this up somewhat so that you're not sitting through like an hour's tutorial. <laughs> um, and it was much easier this way. Um, being able to have that that amount of space I was able to really just cut away the leather that I didn't need um, first on the left hand side and then on the right hand side here it's a shame that I lost all the detailing but hey ho these things happen right okay so the first step is I need to mark in exactly where I'm going to punch holes <laughs> so I've got my trusted orange pen I'm just going to, and the reason for this is obviously I need to punch the holes through before I can put the studs through. I don't know if I'll be able to reach that lower one. Hmm, maybe touch and go. And then the same thing here. So they're held in place. Oh, that's going to go right through that seam line. Wow. We'll just have to go for it now, won't we? <laughs> so, what we're going to do is then we'll remove the clips. And then I have my trusty hole punch again. I'm just going to see what kind of size those are. I think that's going to be fine, the 2.5. Actually, let's do the 2. Because we don't want them to be too loose. So basically... I'm now going to pinch the holes where those orange lines are. Oh, that one's right on the seam line. I give it a good wiggle to make sure that it's um, cut all the way through. And then, see part of me was like, oh, I could just take the tongue off, but then it would look a bit weird. And then I thought I would take these sections off, but then it would be too flimsy here. There's no reinforcement. And then I was just like, it works. If I put studs on, it'd be super cool. And as long as I'm not like cycling anywhere in a hurry, they should stay on my feet. There we go. And then the other side. And what I'll do is I'll do the other um, shoe. I'll take photos of the whole process because the video not everybody likes to sit and watch a video so if you decided you wanted to do something like this for yourself i couldn't find anything online i tried searching last weekend yeah it was last weekend um and i couldn't find any kind of tutorial so i really just decided i would wing it oh here we go there we go so these are my sand brown studs quite chunky they're not spiky, I want the spiky ones. I don't have spiky ones here in the UK, so these might look a bit odd to begin with, but... Oh, I've lost it. So a sand brown stud is basically a screw with a stud that screws onto it. Um, and I've had these for a little while. Oh, it's not going to go through. Nope, need to make the holes bigger. <laughs> okay, can't believe my shoe is on my table. So then, I'm gonna poke that through there, like that. These are gonna look a bit silly because <laughs> they're rounded studs. The ones I want to use are the spikes, those are in the UK. I actually thought I had them here, it's a bit frustrating, I don't. Um, but I will be back in the UK hopefully in May once I um, am able to leave the Netherlands, which the government says here should be in May. <laughs> so fingers crossed, guys. It would be nice to go home and give my mum a hug. She's had both um, vaccines now, so... Oh, I'm out of bits. Let me find some more. She's had both the 
um, both charts. So I can go home, stay with her and my dad and hug them both. Then my dad's not really a hugger. Um, where's the other one here? And it will be lovely to be back in the UK. Me and my other half were talking about how at the moment we're actually more English than we were <laughs> when we lived in the UK. We have like Sunday roasts every Sunday. Um, and bacon sandwich on a Saturday morning. Oh look, this is going to be cool. So this is the other part of the Sam Brownstead. And it's literally a case of just screwing it on. And on the back there are um it's like a flat head screw so i can tighten them with a screwdriver they they're actually quite cool oh that one's a tiny one oh rubbish i have different sized ones the smaller one looks better so now i need to see whether i've got six small ones because the big ones are a bit chunky oh let's have a quick count how many do I need? Six, twelve. Okay. So do we think the smaller ones look better than the bigger ones? Or do we think we should go with the bigger ones? Yeah, let's go with the small ones. Change in plan. Okay, so then that one's going there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, we've already got them there. I almost forgot that I had done that. So what do you think? Are you liking how they're looking with the studs? Let me know in the comments below um, whether you think I should keep them like this or add spiky studs. Ta -da. That looks quite cool actually. Quite funky. I feel like these could be rounded off but I'm scared of cutting them and damaging the stitching and everything coming undone. So I need a screwdriver <laughs> to tighten them. This is my um, sewing machine screwdriver. And it's going to be tricky. But the way that you do it is hold one, put the screwdriver on the other, and just tighten it. It's tricky to show you the inside. It is quite tricky getting in there with a screwdriver, so you will want to make sure that you have a small one like the one that I'm using just to get really in the grooves. I haven't even considered whether these will rub on my feet actually. That will do for now. So there we go. I'm going to go and try it on, see what it looks like and take a photo. So yeah, last weekend, ankle swan to pieces, decided to Google how to turn brogues into mules. Could find nothing online, nothing on Pinterest, nothing on Google, nothing. Found some interesting menswear blogs actually um, to do with breaking in your brogues. <laughs> but those are like, you know, multiple hundred pound ones. I've worn these ones consistently. Well, I've tried to wear them consistently and I just can't break them in. They hurt too much. So inspired by this, this is my Turkish slipper that um, David bought for me to wear indoors. And they had them in silver, but the silver ones were stupidly expensive. So he got me these ones, which I also love the colour of. And they're super comfy. I've had them for about three weeks. Um, they're properly worn in, broken in. So comfy. And I then have transitioned. Try not to touch the soles the brogue as it were I love the colour and now we have da -da 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 -da. so I had to take out the insole in order to be able to get my foot in and also for this to not look really ugly and let me show you what it looks like with the insole in my hair is doing crazy things because of the static I washed it this morning and I don't have any conditioner I need to go and buy some and so my hair's just gone crazy so this is the insole this is the shoe when I put it in, it's really visible. Um, if I get glue, I could obviously stick it down. I don't know how good a job that will do. They're really comfy without the insole. Um, I don't feel that this is essential. I don't have an insole on my um, Turkish slippers. Um, I'm not overly bothered by how raw this is. I think they're kind of cool and deconstructed. I may at some point add studs along here and along here in order to stop it. Like if it looks like it's gonna unravel from wear and tear, then I'll stud those as well. Um, not with these because I don't have many left, but hopefully I get back to the UK um, in the next few months um, where I have my sharp like spiky studs 
and then I'll transition away from these rounded ones. These are cool, they'll do for now, but I'm excited that I can now wear this inside. So yeah, super. Um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little walkthrough, time lapses and everything. Let me know if you enjoyed it and drop a comment below, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notifications of every time I post a new video here on YouTube. I'll be posting to do with making your own, making, designing your own clothes and fashiony stuff. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.